Well, hey everyone. Uh, I've not made a video in a very long time. I got a bit of free time right now, so I thought it would be fun to catch up on some things that I wanted to do. One of those things is respond to some comments from a prosthetics video I made now three years ago. Uh, many comments actually that I got either sent to me as messages saying, we saw that photo of a whole bunch of your prosthetics laid out on the counter. Can you do a video that it tells us what all those different hands do? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I brought my handbag. Yeah, that's not a joke, it's a bag full of hands. And I will go through it and show you each of the hands that I've got made for me over the almost quarter century of being a partial hand amputee. So here we go, let's get into it. Number one, the OG. This is the first prosthetic I ever had made. I have showed this off in little videos before briefly. This is wood coated in leather rock solid. I would want this with me in a bar fight if ever I was to be in a bar fight because mama said knock you out. This is my workhorse. I use this for lots of labor type tasks and uh, it's great. It's just bomb proof. This was made for me 24 years ago. It was my first ever prosthetic. It has lasted me since then. So that's number one. So uh, I've done a lot of competitive sprint kayaking in my past and I wanted to have a hand that would help me get back to doing that. This was one that I had made early on that frankly sucked. Uh, this was made by someone who obviously had no understanding of like decent biomechanical principles as to what would make a good paddling hand. Uh, the material is far too rigid, the curve is too far away from the thumb. Like, that is what that gap should look like to be able to hold on to a kayak paddle. And this doesn't do it. So I've had it in my handbag for ages. I don't use it for anything. It's not that comfortable. But I don't know, I, I keep it as a, uh, a, a prototypical piece of what not to do when making a uh, paddling prosthetic, I guess. This we've also seen before. Very quickly in the video, this is a prosthetic that is completely cosmetic in nature and purpose. Uh, made by a guy here in Vancouver, BC named Jack Zolte. It's very realistic looking prosthetics. This matched my skin tone at the time when I had it done, I was deeply tan. Funnily enough, it only works in appearance when uh, I have a really good tan. And uh, I'll put it on for you if I can. The other piece is, this was made when my wrist muscles were still atrophied compared to what they are now. So, it's really hard to get on, always has been. Okay, there we go. Now, interestingly, there is an index finger that comes with this. Uh, it's not in my handbag. I don't know where it is. So that's awkward. When I was younger, and I felt self-conscious about things, and I was going out and being social around people that I didn't know and wouldn't know that I was an amputee and I didn't want to have to talk about it, I would just put this on. Yeah, at this point in my life, my wrist muscle is strong enough and thick enough that this just cuts off the circulation completely. You can probably already tell that my hand is going red just from having it on at this point, but now it makes a very good Halloween prop. Throw it in the candy bowl. Uh, scare kids with it. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. What did I do with that index finger? Hashtag amputee problems. Okay, now we're gonna move into the paddling prosthetics that I have. Uh, there are a few different types. I'll show you some pictures on the screen here of one of my prosthetics that is really awesome. Uh, it's a great flexible material and it uh, is lightweight, it's comfortable. I raced in this one for years, and that is my favorite paddling prosthetic. Uh, and that's what that one's for, for kayaking specifically. And then I have a few hands designed for a uh, canoe paddle. So this little notch, the hand can wrap over the tee comfortably, and then I can switch hands for uh, this curve to be around the shaft of the paddle. So um, I really like this guy, I did a lot of racing in these. Uh, I have a couple variations of them. Um, I call this my Deadpool hand just based on the, uh, the color scheme of the time. Mr. Reynolds himself threw me a like based on that one somewhere along the line. And then I've got 
A rolling prosthetic. I have showed this one off on a video before. Uh, this one is spaced to fit over the end of an oar, uh, for which it works fairly well. It, uh, a rolling stroke is actually quite a dynamic movement in terms of uh, the different planes that you have to move through. So this one has various little notches cut out of it to allow for wrist movements. It doesn't fit on every oar handle, but it fits on my favorite oar handles. Okay, this one is also sort of for sports and activities. Now this is a device that comes from a company called Active Hands. Uh, they specialize in devices for people who have mobility issues related to their hands. So as you can see, this one encases my hand. So if I was to, for example, put this over an oar, I could still use the function of my fingers that I have on an oar, but just have this over top of it. And what this kind of does is ensures that I won't end up fully dropping the oar. Uh, and it's good for that. It's very hot. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome to get set up in the first place. Uh, it is pretty quick release to get rid of this fast. I don't use this much. Um, maybe if I used it more, I would be more comfortable with it. This company is great though. Uh, they make all sorts of devices for people with hand mobility needs. So if you're keeping score, we've got kayak, uh, canoe paddle, and we've got uh, rowing. The next one, this is not specifically a prosthetic. These uh, are all over the place. These are weightlifting uh, straps that beefier people than me use for deadlifting, that sort of thing. But uh, this actually really uh, assists me greatly in the gym. Um, so I can wrap my hand around different bars. Uh, it's awesome for dumbbells. The strap, comfortable on the wrist, helps me do lap pull downs, chin ups, the whole bit. So that's what this thing is for. So you've probably seen these before at least. Uh, lots of people use this kind of strap and it assists me a lot in the gym. Last but not least, the thing you've seen before, which I made the whole video on, my naked prosthetic, which is the only only hand I have that has any moving parts. Uh, it allows me to, you know, adjust grip based on different sizes of things. But this allows me to do the small things that I otherwise cannot. Drinking tea, pinkies up. Well, I don't have a pinky. There are a million things we, you can do with a thumb. It's not like it's a pinky. So there you go. A little tour of all the different hands that I have. Uh, yeah, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to have to consider what hand you're gonna bring with you on a daily basis, depending on what you plan to do. Such is life of an amputee. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Um, you guys seem really engaged with the uh, the prosthetics and the amputee videos uh, that I have done in the past. And I hope you like this one as well. I get a lot of questions from people who have seen my previous videos about how much did that cost? And I am very fortunate that uh, the cost of those prosthetics as I have needed them has been covered through workers' compensation. Yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Let me know what you thought about this one. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later.